the advanced tab is where you turn a lot of different stuff on, and, and this would be class and location tracking. So I'll turn on both just so you can see how they both behave. And you can okay. get, though I'm not going to turn that on, there is a warning that you can trigger for class tracking. So when you, but you guys are the ones doing it, so you'll remember. But if you save and close something it might, and you didn't tag a class to a revenue or expense, it'll tell you, hey, you didn't assign a class, you know. So you can go back okay. and do it, but I'll leave it off. Now, location, you can have one per transaction, and I'll show you what that means. But you can call it what you want. Well, within, I guess within seven different labels, so. I don't know if this is department or whatever. And you can create locations and classes, the actual names. I'll call it agriculture, timber, ranching, and royalty. Class can be at each row, like splits. So if you're doing a check you can, and you have like three lines, you can have a class for each line. Uh, or it could be summary, like one per transaction. Cla the, the qualification about class tracking is that it does not work with balance sheet. Reporting it works with P&L. Okay. Location works with both P&L and balance sheet. So that's why I asked, do they need a balance sheet by class? Because you might decide to use location for something else, some other metric you want to differentiate on a P&L or balance sheet. And then if if class doesn't matter on balance sheet, if it's just P&L, then that's totally supported. So I'll leave it how typically it's set up in most people that I know that use class tracking. So. Let's use location for state and use classes for the other, and I'll show you how it behaves on the reports. Well, transactions first. But let's at least go okay. to the list. you gotta, you got to add the list first. So you go to all lists, and then you'll see classes, and then we have okay. departments, but you can call it location, whatever. Maybe I should change it to the default just to see. Yeah, let me just call it location. It's actually, that's the technical term. It's class and location tracking. I'm going to create class list. Let's have this be agriculture. And you can do subs, but I, I like things just one. But you can you can go, like, have up to, I think, three or five subclasses. But then it gets busy on the report. So I like to keep it just one class deep, maybe two. That's just the best practice. Okay. But ranching and then royalty. So that's classes. Then we'll go to location, and we'll do what are the states, Texas? Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma. So you turn it on in settings, and then you, you know, you choose. I think I spelled it wrong. Boy, I don't spell Oklahoma much. It looks right. So you have your lists. Now, on transactions, and then we'll look at reporting. Let's just do like a check. So we'll incur some expenses. It would be the same for a credit card expense. It would be the same for a bill. Maybe bill's a good example. We'll do that next. We'll just call it, you know, and then we're going to hit an account or an item, but I'm assuming they're mostly doing accounts. So we'll say it was, you know, uh, meals mm -hmm. and, you know, 100 bucks. Now notice, location, this will be, you know, Texas. But class would be, I know these, this isn't going to make any sense. I'm just trying to put, right. don't pay attention to the payee. Uh, ranching, so this would be also 100 bucks. So look, 200 bucks in the P&L under column for Texas will have 200 bucks. But for the class, it'll have 100 in agriculture, 100 in ranching. And I'll show you what I mean. So that's a check. So you turn on the lists. Well, in the settings, you fill the list. You call them what you want. Then it creates these drop-down menus on the check right. form or any other form. And you just put them in from the drop-down. Now, let's do a bill because I think they'll probably do – do they do some payables then? You know, that's probably going to come strict from bill.com. Oh, okay. Then, then bill.com actually links to our classes. So the bills will come in with a class right. already. So, like, if I have this bill, right, they'll already come in with, you know, royalty and timber, and then the location will be Oklahoma. So they'll already come in that way from bill.com because they actually – connect and integrate to the class and location list. To a revenue, a couple revenue ones, I'll do an invoice. So this would be a customer invoice. We'll say for this. Now, again, invoices and sales receipts, that they're item-based. So if you don't have products and services, I guess you could do your revenue through, deposit, through deposits. Is that how you'll do it? Yes. You track the revenue through? Okay, so let's do that. Deposit. Because most people, most people, I mean, they're just going to send us a check. But each division handles... You know, like, for example, 
you know, there's not going to yeah. be like an invoice for cattle sales. They're just going to go to the cattle sale and then they'll, they will deposit the check in the local institution and they will, you know, scan us all of the information for us to get put in the system. Perfect. All right. So this is a, just a deposit form, top part, bottom part. So you're going to choose who it's from. We'll say it was from uh, them and the account. Don't worry about invoices to receive payments. You know, they'll have the revenue account. And then payment method, we'll say, was, you know, a check or credit card or whatever amount, 800. And here I can choose my class, mm -hmm. right? Now, the thing is, it's looking for payments from the actual locations or department. I don't have a way on the deposit to tag the location. So it's almost okay. like I need to do this, but it's not really AR. So there's receive payment. You know, you could, I could choose this. Now there's an invoice. See, I'm receiving a payments again and in, against an invoice. Let me see. Let me see if I can just use a receive payment. But this is going to create like a, a negative AR though. Payment method now. Amount received. Still no location tracking. So the deposit, I don't. I can track class, but not location. They might need like to use a sales receipt. But if you're going to use a sales receipt, then you need to create items linked to those revenue accounts. The only other way to do it would be a register. So if I go into the chart of accounts, checking in paper ledger mode, okay, it'll drop me to the bottom. So I can add like a deposit. Now this has class and location. So they might use the register from this for this. So it's a Amy's Bird Sanctuary account is sales, you know, whatever it is. Class would be, this was from agriculture, department is Arkansas, and then the amount. I'm sorry, the amount. Well, so well, here's my question for you. If you just put yeah. the, if you just put the deposits in the other way, can you then come into here and add department? Oh yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Great idea. So if I look at this department, okay. I can add department here. Texas. Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah. great. You know, it's not much fun and to have to do an class. extra step, but that's that's not a terrible step. You know. Right, right. And for whatever reason, I don't know why. I mean, bank deposit just it has class, but it doesn't have location. I don't know why the field's not on there. But, but you know, because it's looking for payments from, see if this, see it's showing payments from a location because I, I did the location tracking at the receive payment level, but you're not using invoicing. So that, that workflows out. So you'll have to do the deposit and you'll have class, but they'll need to go to the register and tag the location later. So that, good to know. At least you know that now. So like, right. So like I have this deposit here, right. I already tagged that. Drill in. Or drill in here, choose, you know, that's what they'll have to do. Well, let me, let me do a new deposit, though. Add deposit. Yeah, you can do a new one. So uh, they could come in here yeah. and do, you know, who is it? Bill's Windsurf Shop, account, sales, you know, disposal. Oh, that was expenses, sorry. Sales of product income. And then I have class. This is royalty. This is going to be Arkansas, 2000. Okay. Now. So you so maybe they'll use a register often. However, you know bills will come in from bill.com. There's this is a credit card charge form, if you will, or expense. Check is check. Pay bills, but they're doing it in bill.com. So really, you probably won't do it much here. But if a bill comes into bill.com, you can certainly go pay it or show that it's paid. Um, yeah. Tra transfer that has uh, no class or location tracking. So I don't know if they can be transferring funds from one to the other, but probably. I don't think that is really going to matter. Probably doesn't come up a lot. Well, but, but between bank accounts, we actually will move quite a bit of money around in a transfer. So you'll have to tag the. There's no there's no class or location field on the transfer window, but you would have already tagged That's that fine. money anyway yes. in, in another form. Yeah. Now we're just moving. We're moving money, for example, you know, from our operating account to our payroll account. Even though in payroll we will be able to designate that some of this payroll is Texas, some of it's. Arkansas. But moving the money yes. from bank to bank to cover it, we don't need classing or anything for that. And if you're using journal entries to track payroll or whatever, you can tag a department in a class. Yeah. So those fields are there too. Now, reporting, you'll just, we have a canned report already. So it, we have a profit loss by class. That's already, and we'll do today. And so right now I have okay. net income across royalty ranching in the total from today, and then I can do it by location, 
Arkansas okay. and Texas. And then balance sheet, that is only going to support location. So I can do a balance sheet by locations, and it'll show my total okay. assets and liabilities by that. But class, it'll, for like APAR, it'll have just zero amounts in those fields. You'd have to journal entry, like $0 journal entry in them. Uh, so that's why I asked. Well, so balance sheet maybe at the state level and P&L at the state level. So that would be location. And then P&L, you know, your profit centers, agriculture, timber, ranching, royalty, and the other things you had mentioned, that'll be profit and loss level. 